Your shoulders blocking the beautiful. Oh, it's such a beautiful insulation job, too. It's the best I've ever seen Thank on you. this floor. I think anyone would hire me for insulation. <laughs> I'm available. Hey y'all, I'm Holland Roden and this is my van, Holland Days. The quarantine in 2020 had me questioning how I can live my life with more intention. So I took the plunge on a dream I've had for years. Are you gonna try? Back to my bags in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles, bought a van and I am self-converting it in Wisconsin with no building experience. But a builder, an engineer, my new friend Steve Mivas is here to definitely help us along the way. Good morning. Today we are going to be doing uh, wood panels. Now we primed the knots of each panel last night. Cut to that footage. We didn't have the camera rolling, it was too dark, and we didn't want to turn on the lights with all the bugs. So today, once we have primed the knots, which we did last night, we are now going to be spray priming all of the planks of wood before they go in the van. Then I'm going to sand them, and then they get installed. Today is a Saturday, and we hope to get all of that done today. We're gonna end with some furring strips, and tomorrow's our day off, and then Monday, we're going to be painting the vein, the vein? Painting the van all white. Um, because we're gonna have some dark floors, we're gonna have some white walls, and then a lot of different woods mixed in on the ceiling, to the countertops, to the cabinet bases, and then um, I'll surprise you with the drawers of what color we're going with. Leave a comment in the, in the comment section if you can guess what my favorite color is. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. We started on the middle one. We make, uh, you put the piece of wood, furring strip up here, to the side of the metal rib underneath this. So for instance, right here on this one, you'd make marks where they're not holes. So here, here, here. You only really need one, two, three, four, five across the way. Put it, then put the wood back on top of the rib. We do lose half an inch in height but you get more insulation. Is that why we did that initially? Um, well, we mostly did it so that we can nail your ceiling in with finished nails rather than having to screw it screw into the it ribs into directly. This. And it also will provide a break, uh, a thermal break between ah, the, the metal that normally acts as a bridge, a thermal yeah. bridge, and the rest of the inside. It, it'll help to have a little bit of wood in between there. This is what we're talking about. Look how he did this, guys. That is, like, that's not even straight. He had to fit the flare, which is on an angle. Then he glued it and um, glued it, screwed it. And then this is still loose. Whoops. Because the water tank's gonna go in there. And we don't have that yet, so. We will wait till we get the water tank and then we can screw that part. So exciting. Oh, this is so cool. You know those days when things just don't quite go right? That's been the last couple days. I forgot to cut this in this direction before I put it in. So the front is supposed to be at the same level of where that drawer ends, and it's like four inches too low. Do you realize what you've done? That was kind of dumb. I'm getting ready to cut this 
profile down here on this bed platform piece that's gonna stick in there. I'll show you guys my trick that I use for that. So I've set this piece back about exactly 10 inches from where it's gonna go. So I know the whole thing is gonna slide over 10 inches when it's in its final position. So then I just take my square here and I just butt it up to the wall parallel to the edge of the wood here and I just mark out where 10 inches is kind of all along the different pieces of this curve and then what I end up with and it's faint but hopefully you can see it there is just this nice little outline of what I'm gonna cut. about um, the support of the bed Still because am. we're not using two by fours. Uh, he says no. a two by four will not go in this. Two way. by fours don't go in vans, guys. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's told you yet, but you're gonna get some backlash. No two by fours. There are people who like two by fours. Two by fours do not belong in vans. <laughs> nope. And he two had. Two by fours are for houses. He also had no wiring when we were ready to spray for it. I'm like, we had a little bit of wiring. We I had put, two like, I put two wires in, three. And I, I was know. like, wait, don't we? I, this isn't unlike anything I've this ever in, seen. We put this one in. And we Those put two, two and a light over, over there. there. And I was like, well, every single build I've seen, there's like, they're covered before you spray foam. He's like, no, I'm a cabinets guy. You put everything in the cabinets. <laughs> you want it accessible. <laughs> It doesn't matter, you can't really see me. I wanted you to be here. I'm taking the insulation and putting it back in the door for the third time, for the last time, because we have wood going on top of the door. There's the wood, there's the wood. I'm gonna silicone the back side mm -hmm. because we're not gonna put screws past right here where this cabinet's gonna be. Oh, because of the service situation? Yeah. We made our 31 inch cuts, and we're gonna see if it's gonna fit. This is a finished cut for the van. And I did it. So it's supposed to be 31 inches, edge of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. See if it fits. Like a glove. That is empowerment right there. Even though I didn't build the back part. <laughs>
productive day. At least you built the tarp. He built this yesterday. He built all the wood paneling. I mean, we would just be sitting in the bus otherwise, so like. Might as well try, yeah. <laughs> So here's the line that I drew for the bottom of the cabinet. Okay. So probably want to put it down a little bit from that, right? Yeah. So we're like there-ish. Why don't I hold it and you do a test for how tall you are. Or actually, if you'll sit here. All right, I don't know where I'm sitting up there. Am I hitting it? Yes! <laughs> well, I guess the, the tall person sits here and the short person sits there. The lamp would kind of go here. Where's the guy? Where's the cabinet? Right there. So it's like so right it's like, underneath it's it. Up right here. I think that's probably slightly strange, but okay. Maybe we could even go a little bit down on this uh, yeah, side. Yeah, what about just like here? Yeah, that works. Yeah. That works. Okay. Right, I'm going to figure out what I need to do today. The plan is to get this um, gear area painted or stained, whichever we're going to do, so that we can actually start mounting some of our electrical pieces in here. Then after that, put this panel in and do wall paneling up here and um, get to getting some of that electrical set up and talking. What are the hours between stains? I think it's a few hours. It's maybe It might be a while. It might be like six, eight hours. I think I remember six to ten hours at Cure. Yeah, I think I, I think we read that on the can last So that's going to be like two coats today, one coat tomorrow. Depends when we get started. I'll come back Ideally out later Ideally two coats today, yeah. Deal with the mystery man out here that Pifel barks at at midnight? Probably polyurethane only needs two coats. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's exciting. The battery is about 12 inches high. We need about 12 inches for that. So that leaves us... Where'd that go? So that leaves us a little over eight. Yeah. Um, about eight if we make it out of three quarter, which. We did that on SolidWorks. We put it as high as possible so that the Tesla could fit underneath it. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking my golf clubs, because they're an inch and a half. The, now the we have part. golf clubs that we're fitting three. in here, too? No, no, I, I remember I told you when I first got I was like, I have a tiny did little. You? I did. I don't remember. That. I did. So we are building a ski box today, and we were debating how wide it needs to be, and ultimately we decided why go smaller when you can go wider, so it looks like there's going to be some ski box slash golf club action. I'm cutting some panels for our batteries and figuring out how that's all going to get mounted and try to cut it before we polyurethane because then we can do it all at once. I knew I should have just built this box square on the back side because I figured we were going to do something like this, but I thought maybe we'll use this space for something. And you know what? We might. I should lay out this battery system and figure out exactly how much space it'll take before I decide how far back to bring it, because inches matter. That's what she said. Ah. Feeling good. It's gonna work. Have y'all bought the polyurethane jumpsuit yet? It's pretty cool. 
I said don't wear clothes that you don't want to get. No, it's to a be black jumpsuit. It covers everything. I can still okay. wear it. Okay. We're going to see how this heals, but I'm still going to wear it. It's there forever now. It truly is. I've tried to wash probably everything off of my hands last night. It did not go well. I got a feeling that you got a feeling that this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I got a feeling that you got a feeling that this is going to be good. Say hello. cutting a hole in that little bulkhead up there because this is a ski box and the skis need to stick through that up into the counter in front because they're longer than 60 inches, which is what we have under the bed. Filling some holes where I shot nails through the top. Not ideal, but no one will ever know. It is Tuesday. I will sand this again today and sand it tonight. If it takes me until 2 o'clock in the morning, because then he can wear it tomorrow and Mike and him can do, he and Mike can do electric Thursday. So this is good progress. Good progress. I wanted to finish everything. I'm gonna have to put it back on tonight. But. What time is it? Like 11 p.m. Not why, too bad. Why are you sanding? Because I got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sand manually. Um, because. Today is Tuesday, and tomorrow, Wednesday, Steve needs to um, wire, pre-wire for all the electric being set up with the Tesla battery, and his other half, Mike, comes Wednesday night to start Thursday to set the Tesla battery. But, again, Steve needs to pre-wire that before the Tesla battery is on Thursday, so that equals Wednesday wiring, but before we can wire Wednesday morning, this needs to have a second coat of stain. Well, it only has one coat of stain, so I have to sand it again and put the second coat on and let it dry overnight so that 9 a.m. tomorrow, Steve is ready to wire that we can then get to the electric on Thursday. That's the goal with Mike. So that's what I'm doing. Next week, we actually get a little bit of socialization when Steve's friend Mike and his wife Carrie come in town and thank God, a few extra hands. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll see you next week, y'all.